Okay guys, so this is my Saint Tropez mitt that I'm going to be using with my Saint Tropez tan and um, I got this in my rocker box for the month of February so I'm just opening it on up and you will see that it has some fur on this side which is so super nice and luxurious and I've never had it before I've had a million mitts which I'll explain later on in the video but um, yeah, had to write some EP because I just had to as you always do, <laughs> if you're an Elvis fan, I guess. Um, right, now I'm going to look at the um, the stuff. It's Saint-Tropez tannin mousse water kind of thing. And it's really, really odd. It goes on like a gel and then you just swish it around the body. So these are some of the instructions for use. So obviously they exfoliate in before use, moisturising the key areas like your elbows and your knees and all of that stuff and then just crack it into it so now i'm just going to show you me putting it on with the mitt and the tan um if you want to buy this tan it's about 33 pound for the full size but i did find it online for 16 pound um so if you just pop into google with the tan i will put down in the description bar below a link to the tan so you can find out the name and stuff and a bit more information and then you could um go and search for it if it's cheaper on google uh, the tan emits about £4 and I would say that's worth it 1 million percent. It's fabulous. But my friend Jackie, um, I do tell you a little bit about that at the end of the video. She has a double-sided mitt for £6.50 on Beauty Bay. But I recommend it fully. So yeah, that's it. Alright, so I hope you enjoy watching. This is how much I've used, by the way. Um, so now I'm going to review it. Hey guys, so... That's me back and it's been three hours exactly and this is how we are looking. My face is definitely more tanned, for sure. You can always tell because my teeth look a little bit whiter, like from space. It's kind of grouped on this area as it always does. But um, yeah, it's definitely, I'm definitely browner, for sure. Um, I'll show you this top part now, be back in a second. Hey guys, so that is me back. That is what up here looks like. So I don't know what you think. If you think it's um, more brown than before. Um, I feel like it might be. I think it is really, really good. I'm going to compare it to my legs. Okay, so this gives you a little bit of a look at how the tan has progressed. So that is the white of my leg. That's my thigh. And that is the brown of my skin. So as you can see, that is a big difference. And I think it's quite flawless as well. It's really, really nice for a first application. And um, on here, it's kind of basic. But when you look at it in real life, it's definitely a lot browner. Okay, so you could see from that there that that's a really, really nice tan compared to the whites of my legs. Um, how it's grouped on my knuckles, it's a little bit like grouped there. So um, maybe didn't moisturise as much as I could have done or exfoliate there as I should have done. But um, yeah, around this part, it's really quite good. On this hand, it's not so bad and it's not grouped a little bit there. It's grouped a tiny bit. So I guess if I kept going every day, it would group maybe around more there, more here, what my elbow's like. My elbows are good to go, not bad at all. My review of the Saint-Tropez Self Tan Purity on first going on. So this is a first application from not tanning for a while. I would say that this is fabulous. I really, really liked it. It's kind of like a gel, a clear gel. So when it goes on, it doesn't kind of move around and it just goes on lovely. Now, because it's clear, you're thinking, how can I see it? I can't see it. But it, it gives you a gleam, which it does say on here, but it's right. It gives you a gleam where you know where it's going, so you're not missing parts. And the smell is delicious. The smell is not like self-tan at all. It just smells absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. And it says natural look and glow in three hours. It's been exactly three hours, and I would say there's definitely more of a glow. Well, you could see from my legs. So, just dropped it. But, um, yeah, I really, really like this stuff. And you know what? I think I might buy it. Um, I'll try my other two tans over the next coming weeks. So, if you want to be interested in this series, then stick with the channel. And I definitely will do those tans. I'll do Zen Tan, which is my favourite from last year. And an oil one. Because the piece de resistance 
is this. This is an amazing mitt. This is amazing. This is worth four pound and more. Now, it's furry, which I've never seen before. That's new. And it is just fabulous. It goes on like a dream. It's actually so soft and wonderful on your skin. And honestly, it was just fab. I really, really recommend this mitt. I think it's brilliant. And I have used a million mitts over the years. I've used so many, it, you can't count them. So I feel like I am qualified to rate a mitt. <laughs> In my lifetime, that is what I'm qualified for, rating tannin mitts. But this one is the best one I've ever used and I like it. I think it's fantastic. So I don't know if I just love this because of the mitt or so I'm gonna go and try my other favorite tans from last year and see if the mitt is improving the tannin, whole tannin kind of situation. If those ones are just as fabulous and whatever, then I'll just stick with them because they are my favourites. But if not, then this little beauty, I might buy this full size. It's £33, but I just saw it online for £19, so it was on sale. So I was tempted to buy it straight away because I liked it, but I'm going to wait. <laughs> so um, I'll see how this kind of fades and how it goes. And um, if you're interested in how it fades and stuff, I will tell you in my next tanning video, which will maybe be Zen Tan, which I'll use with this mitt. So, and then I'll just let you know how the tans are going on each video. So that is my review and a first look and first going over the skin with the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity 24ml that we got in our rocker box for the month of February. And this mitt, Saint Tropez mitt, that is like got the kind of furry side which I love. All right, so I would say, give this about a eight out of 10 so far. I don't know why I wouldn't give it a 10. It's really, really good. I'll give it an eight out of 10 because I've only used it once and it's on skin that hasn't been tanned for a long time. So I would like to tan again on this or after it's faded, see how it goes then. Because sometimes you get a build up, crocodile skin, all of that jazz, build up around the tash. So I have to really wait before I see whether this is amazing or not. But yeah, I love it and I can't wait to start my new series of tanning because I always feel so much better with tan skin. Right, that is me done. I'm off to my bed now. It's late at night. I tanned earlier, so I'm really, really tired. I'm exhausted. So I'm off to bed and that is that. All right, so take care of yourself and thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye everyone. Hey guys, so it's the next morning and I wanted to put this in just at the end to let you see how it is with the makeup on. So this is what we are in the morning, tiny bit darker, especially across the knuckles. I have tan hands. So I put my makeup on on top, so it's kind of calmed down my face a little bit. I think there's a little bit of a streak here, tiny bit, but I'll go over that with my foundation brush in a minute, matching it up. I just wanted you to see what the neck looked like. Um, I think it looks nice. I think it's really natural. It stinks, absolutely stinks this morning. So um, yeah, really, really honky tonk. So you need to have a wash the next day, for sure. Because when I woke up this morning, it was stinking. So um, what else can I say about it? It's really, really nice tan. It's kind of orangey a little bit, um, as you can see, but it's, I mean, it's good. And it goes on really, really easy. And for an event or something, I think it'll be fabulous to use. Um, I'm going to try and do a few layers, see how that goes and see how it builds up. But I was talking to my sister-in-law last night, Jackie, and she's, all, um, she's an olive toned kind of person. So her skin is quite dark and luxurious compared to my pale skin. I have not tanned in about five, six months. So this is the first tan on my pale skin. And I know I'm not really pale compared to some, but um, when this went on, it took. Whereas my friend Jackie, who is olive skinned, she tried it and hated it. It just wasn't a good tan for her. It didn't give her any darkness and she said it was rubbish. So when she seen mine, she was like, oh my gosh, how can yours go so brown? And it's because I'm so pale. She would really need a darker tone. So if you're darker skinned, then this one isn't gonna be for you. If you don't tan regularly or you're really pale or you're about the same color tone as me, then I would say it's really good for an event a night before because it goes on so easy. It's easy to use. The mitt is fabulous. Um, I asked her as well what mitt she had and it's the double sided velvet. I've never seen that before. Sounds really exciting because I've got one side velvet and loving it. So imagine a double velvet. <gasps> right, okay, so when I was getting dressed, I just saw the difference between my boobs 
and here because my hands are not good. I exfoliated and creamed them, but they're just not looking good. This hand is much better. And I think in the video when I rewatched it, I did this a second time and I only did this one. So that's the thing you got to do. But anyway, tan hands are a thing. I was watching this morning yesterday and Rylan was on and someone had commented, I see your tan hands. And I thought, yep, everybody has tan hands. Right, okay, so that is me going now. Sorry for this really long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could get something out of it. But um, yeah, it's best to get as much information as you can into the video. This is the day after. And yeah, that's it. All right, so I'll see you very, very soon. I'll let this come off. Or I might try another layer. Yeah, I might try another layer, which will be another week. And then I'll let it come off for a week. And then I'll do the next tan, which I think I might do Zen tan. So a couple of weeks time, look out for that. And I shall see you soon. Bye everyone. To my channel, Hello. comment below, press the bell button, thumbs up. Thank you.